I'm trying to put my thoughts together, but I don't even know where to start. Okay, uh, why don't we start with where it began for me? Nintendo is known as the big N for a reason. My first exposure to video games was when I was two years old with the Nintendo Entertainment System. I was pretty much addicted to video games from when I was two years old to even now. When I look back to all the games I was playing when I was young, it was all Mario games. Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3, Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, even Mario Paint. I had a lot of fun with Mario Paint. Nintendo, to a lot of people, may be just another company that makes a lot of video games. But to me, Nintendo is so much more than that. There's so much more to it than that. Back in elementary school, I was that reject kid. I was picked on by a lot of people. I was that last kid that got picked last and everything. And I was that kid that no one wanted to be around with. But you know who didn't care who I was? Mario didn't. The Nintendo games I played didn't care about any of that stuff. They didn't even care if I was a failure or not. I've already said this in one of my videos, but school feels like it's a setup for people to fail and to shit on those failures. And my parents weren't always there to encourage me when I most needed it. But the Nintendo games I played didn't care. It didn't care if I failed a jump and died in a pit. Did I get an F for it? No. It said, hey, you can try again. Nintendo gave us many lives to work with. It gave us as many retries as we needed to get over the obstacle that we would always have trouble with. So if there was one thing that kept me going, it was video games. It was the video games that Nintendo had made. And I'm not ashamed to say that. So when the news that Satoru Iwata had passed away reached the internet yesterday, I wasn't sure how to react. At first, I was like, oh man, that, that really sucks. But now, thinking back on everything? Oh my god. Satoru Iwata? Your leaving us will be a big hit to the video game industry. You have been running Nintendo for 13 whole years. You helped bring joy to a lot of video game players all around the world. With the Super Smash series, the Kirby series, the Pokemon series, and the Zelda series, you even helped bring one of my favorite RPGs to life on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. You helped Nintendo become financially successful when it was struggling in 2005 against other competitors. But most of all, you brought joy and laughter to so many of Nintendo fans across the world. I'm not exaggerating when I say you've changed the lives of so many of us with what you have done. Right now, with the news of your passing spreading across the internet like wildfire, I'm sure a lot of people are very concerned about Nintendo's future. And I can see why they are. Without you, it feels like a lot is gonna fall apart. But if there is one thing I do know, it's that you, Satoru Iwata, you have been immortalized. You may have passed on spiritually, but you will forever live in our hearts, in the hearts of many Nintendo fans. Your games have helped us move forward and have helped us enjoy life that much more. Your games have invoked emotions in the hearts of many that have changed them forever. And that's not something we can just say about anyone. Rest in peace, Mr. Iwata. Rest in peace knowing that your legacy will live on forever in our hearts. I think I speak for a lot of us when I say, you will be missed. Seriously. Satoru Iwata, thank you for everything.